What's up guys and girls? Welcome to another episode of Seymour Skates. Today we will be reviewing the Vans Roan Pros. So before we get into this video, I just want to let you know that this is just my opinion obviously, I'm not a professional by any means, so take this, as, this advice how you want in deciding whether you want to purchase these shoes or not. So just the background to the shoe, before I actually purchased them, I was wondering why is everyone skating Vans at the skate park? Like, this is a very common shoe or Vans as a brand that I see people skating. And it's only until I bought the shoe, until I bought the shoe, that I realized that this is a very durable shoe. Damn, boy, he's thick! Boy, that's a thick ass boy! Skating them for about three months now and majority of the shoe is still in great condition um, but we'll get into the finer details just now so just before we get into the nitty-gritty roan himself hasn't actually been skating his pro model shoe his signature shoe in recent videos that i've watched and i want to get to the bottom of this reasoning or i want to tell you why he hasn't in my opinion um, what aspects maybe he didn't like about his shoe and yeah, what aspects I don't like, what aspects I like um, and whether this will affect your decision in possibly buying this shoe. So let's start with uh, durability of the shoe. As you can see like on the toe, there's a bit of wear obviously, hasn't come through any layer at all, it's just the, the top rubber layer that's kind of been shaven down. Uh, look closer onto where our Ollie, just a bit of scuffing on the suede. No holes at all. And then we come to the back suede. This is where I've done my heel flips and there is a hole. Um, see if it goes through the back of the shoe. It doesn't go through the back of the shoe. I'm, I have my finger at the back of the shoe. There's just a little hole on the front. So that's the only hole on the whole shoe. Obviously this is my flicking shoe. Yeah, just, just a bit of scuffage. The laces are perfectly fine. There's no damage on the laces and I left the laces how they were laced when I bought them because normally I change the the lacing style you see here they're covered on the inside and i think that's actually protected the laces pretty well for three months which is pretty impressive so what i do want to highlight is the impact of the shoe how comfortable is this shoe and how well does it absorb the impact so obviously <laughs> i'm not jumping down five stairs or whatever i think my level right now is probably jumping down three stairs. Um, so still you would possibly get some impact, maybe heel bruises or whatever from messing up. But obviously in this shoe, I have not had a single thing like that. It's quite a bulky shoe, obviously. Um, so keep that in mind. It's um, quite bulky on your foot. I don't know if you don't prefer bulkier shoe and it affects your flick, then obviously I don't recommend this shoe. But in terms of comfortability, um, when you ride in your board doing your tricks, definitely this shoe helps. And I think we should look at the insole to check if my suspicions are right. So yeah, this, it's quite a thick insole actually. No wonder I've been absorbing that impact or it's been absorbing that impact really well. Really thick insole. So I'll definitely keep these for my next shoe. So let's get on to the negatives of the shoe. Like I said earlier, the the shoe kind of hinders your, your flick ability, in my opinion. It takes up a lot of space on your board because of the bulkiness. So if you are someone who likes to feel your flip tricks, this shoe is not for you, in my opinion. You can't feel the flick as nicely as you would with a thinner shoe. Maybe the Niger's, Niger Freeze in comparison, but um, yeah, that's about the only negative I have about this shoe. Um, the durability is really good. 
it's comfortable and I see a lot of people skating vans in my area and it's obviously due to the good quality of these shoes in general overall a really good shoe so now we're going to head on over to the skate park for a few tricks that I filmed yesterday